did everything that I was asked. I sacrificed myself, my family. I led us into the new world. I thought that it would be glorious. I was wrong. I have waited so long for someone to come. I've begun to despair. I have seen your face before. God showed it to me in a dream. I knew you would be the one to come and make things right. Set them exactly the way they're supposed to be. I knew that you would bring salvation. You've come seeking help. I can't give you any, only God can. But he has a plan for you. Come. Walk with me. cleansing fire, I saw the journey he had laid out before us, and I knew what was required when we set foot on our new Eve. When humanity emerged, I gathered my flock and set them on a new path, a rejection of everything connected to the old world, the creation of a new society, living off the land taking only what was needed. When the harshest years of the dark winter fell, I despaired. And in that despair, I found our salvation. This tree. Its fruit a gift from God, which gave my family the strength to endure through the famine and the pestilence. New Eden thrived. We created a paradise on Earth. But it did not last. This plague of locusts saw to that. These highwaymen embody everything God has instructed us to forsake. Their souls are rotten, diseased. But you, you are different. I believe your soul is worthy. <clears throat> my family through the darkest time.
first time that I partook of this gift, I was confronted by a ravenous beast. It was my soul. And in that moment, I knew that in order to be worthy of God's gift, I had to slay that beast. I had to cleanse my soul. Because if I did not, I knew that that beast would consume me. This is God's test. allowed us to survive, but its gifts are not unconditional. It nourishes what is in a person's soul. But if that soul is corrupt, the miracle extracts a terrible price.
fight your sin in darkness.
is why I am here. There are those who must not be allowed to partake of this miracle. Even if I love them. Even if they are of my family. Sin is a beast we cannot be. Our future depends on adherence to my strictures. We can no longer hope for Joseph to save us. He is not coming back. We must put him out of our minds and... and... Father. Ethan. Father? The father. Where have you been? Our land is under siege, our people threatened. You disappeared. You left us when we needed you most. Why? To hear God's plan, my son. To hear God's plan. My children. I know that you have suffered. And I know that you are afraid. I've been gone from you for a very long time. But you were not abandoned. God spoke to me, and he has shown me a path out of this darkness. We will no longer hide behind these walls. We will no longer simply hope that this plague of locusts leaves us in peace. The time to fight is now. And God has sent us his sword. Here, God has tested their soul, and it is just, and it is pure. And I stand here before you to bear witness that this outsider is our shepherd. Father! And together, we will battle against the hordes outside our gates, and together we will march towards the future that God has promised us. No! You abandoned me. You abandoned us. Without a word, without instructions, leaving me to lead as best I could. And now, now, you return. As if descended from the clouds and presumed to lead? Yes. I am the leader here. Joseph is our leader. New Eden follows me! We stand behind the Father. Son. I know you've carried a heavy burden in my absence. I understand that. This is God's will. And sometimes we must sacrifice that which we want in order to honor God's command. What have you ever sacrificed? Someday you will see the light. I promise. Come. Let us all go together. We have much work to do. Am I really living to see another prophecy unfold? It's breathtaking. And now... Are you a diplomat or a warrior? I wish to speak with you. Already my chosen fight the highwaymen throughout the long nights. Now I will ask them to find the strength to fight in the day as well. Your friends should make good use of the distraction and act quickly. 
my family cannot fight forever. As for you, remember God's gift. What you have experienced so far is just a taste of God's power. Do not waste it. I will also give leave for my judge to follow you. They speak only one language, that of violence. In this, they will serve you well. Before you can be our shepherd, you must be our sword. Go! and make the land safe for all who wish to live in peace. I admire your fortitude. It is challenging to come north. Joseph has some guidance for this situation, but maybe not enough. You are indeed the one I saw in my vision. <laughs> 